Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I bring you glad tidings today. Praise God, because we are looking at the life and the book of John. Now, not Saint John, not not the Gospel according to John. First John. Praise God. Listen, we began talking about this yesterday, and it's 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 getting. <laughs> It's awesome. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we bless you. Open our understanding to your truth, Lord Jesus. You sent us the Holy Spirit and you said he will guide us into all truth. So right now, Holy Spirit, we believe in Jesus and what he said is truth. Therefore, we submit our minds and our hearts to you. Guide us into all truth. And right now, I declare burdens are being lifted, yokes are being destroyed in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. When First John chapter one, I'm going to read from verse five. We're going to start from verse five. It says, "This is the message which we have heard from Him and declare to you that God." is light and in him is no darkness at all praise god now he says if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth simple there are no two ways about it there is no middle ground in there if you are claiming you are born again with the moment you say you are born again you're actually saying that i'm in fellowship with god right so if you say you're in fellowship with God and then you are still practicing iniquity, you are still practicing sin, he says you're telling a lie, you're not in fellowship with God. Why? Look at it. Verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light. Now, look at this carefully. It says, but if we walk in the light as he is. Now you see, he is the first person that is in the light. He is he. You are not the one that start out the light and say, Lord, come and walk with me in this light. No. He is the one that is in the light. So he says, if we ascend to him, not him descending to us. Oh, and God just loves me the way I am. Leave me alone. No, sir. No, no, no. That is not true. Anybody who told you that is a liar. He doesn't love you the way you are. He will accept you the way you are for the purpose of turning and changing your life all around to suit what he loves. Do you understand that? So, you know, just come as you are. God, God loves you the way you are. No, he doesn't. He doesn't love you the way you are. He loves you, but he doesn't love you the way you are. But <laughs> It's the truth. He will accept you as you are. Now that's because he has the cleansing power to turn you into what he loves. Let that sink. So he is the one walking in the light. And then we come up to his level. So we are the ones that that's what happens. When the word of God comes to you, you step up to believe it. You step up to accept it. The word of God doesn't come to massage, you know, your, your, your mind. No, 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 no. When the word of God comes, you, oh. <laughs> yeah. See, when God speaks to you, you say, I know that, I know that. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> I know that. That's simple. I know that. No, no. When the word of God comes. Like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I remember a few days ago, I was driving and I got to this intersection, you know, so the traffic light was there and it was red for, you know, so I stopped. And you know how some people just love to disobey the light. So I was waiting and then you know, some cars just come by your side and they cross, they cross. And I know you're like, ah, look at these people, you know how you just, look at all these people. And then suddenly I heard the word of the Lord. What did he say to me? He just asked me a question. He said, if a car, you know, you know a car just passed and was going. And then the Lord said, 
What if a car just comes from the opposite direction and hits this car? And then the Lord says, what are you going to say? See, now the moment the Lord said that to me, I got it. And so, so immediately I said, ah, yeah, Lord, yes. Yes, I understand what you're saying. I, I understand what you're saying. I, I will not act that way. <laughs> no, I will not act that way. Now I know. I will not act that You see, because now when he spoke to me, I knew exactly. You see, he, he's in fellowship with us. That's why he said he, he's with us. So I'm looking at something. He's looking at it also. So he can easily ask me a question. I also say, Lord, all this traffic defaulters. You know, and I wasn't praying. I was just driving and, and I was there. And I'm shoo, shoo. And like, you know, I'm just looking at these guys. And I say, hey, you see, just like you're standing with somebody and watching what the person is looking at. And I say, you know, you ask the person a question. That's what the Lord asked me. So what if a car comes and clear this car out? What would you say? You know, you know, the truth is this. The natural thought or the natural response would be like, you know, yeah, it's an accident, too, you know, but you want like somewhere in your mind, you want to just do serves him right. Think, think I was here as a fool when the light is red. Think, think I didn't know what I was doing. Do you understand? You, you want to think that way because you are trying to obey the law. You are trying to do what is right. And someone else is just, uh, so let them see the consequences of their actions. You know, but when the Lord asked me that question, I automatically knew. He knew what my response would be. You know, as a natural response. So that's why he was bringing it to my attention. So that at that moment, I will change that pattern of reasoning. Now that's how our lives are changed. That's how our minds are renewed. Now I haven't really thought about that before. See. Now, thank God nothing of such happened for me to respond to it. Now, that's what he does. He guides you into all truths. So, he saw me and then he asked me that question. Then immediately I repented. Because to be honest, my thought, of course, you know, I would, I would love to see nothing happen to anybody, you know. But the fact that, you know, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but I just said, okay, Lord, I understand. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I won't think like that. I will be merciful. I will be compassionate. Even if they broke the law, I will still be compassionate for their lives. See? Now, I haven't seen that happen before me yet. But now, he has prepared me for such an experience. And then he has renewed my mind. Now, that's how the word of God works. When it comes to you, I didn't read that anywhere in scripture. I heard him. When it comes to you, it changes your way of reasoning. Now, so what do you do? You step up. That's what I did. So the moment he asked me that question, I saw him in the light. So what did I do? I moved up with him in the light. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So he says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light. So we are the ones that move up to him in the light. So we first see him in the light. Then we walk up to him in the light. Now, if you don't see him in the light, you cannot walk up to him in the light. How do you see him in the light? He speaks. He speaks to us. Are you getting me? So you say, oh, I don't have any money. And then you're praying, oh God, I need to pay this bill, I need to do this, I need to do that. And then the Lord comes up to you I say, hey, I've paid your bills. I have given you money. Oh, I have blessed you. Hey, I know, I know, but uh, Lord, right now, eh, I just need money to pay this bill. Hey, you are not walking in the light as he is in the light. Now, he is in the light. He is telling you where he is with you in the light. You don't know what I mean by that. He is showing you this is where you are supposed to be walking in. Now, what do you do? You adjust and come to him in the light. So, what do you do? Uh, Lord, Lord, I've blessed you. 
You're here praying, oh God, I need to pay this bill. Lord, help me. I need your help. Oh Lord, you need to do something. I need a miracle right now. And then suddenly the word of God comes to you. He said, I have paid that bill. Or I have prospered you. I have blessed you. So what do you do? He has blessed you. Didn't he say he shall bless me? He said he. And that's how God speaks. Most times when God speaks, he speaks in past tense. If you understand his voice, he speaks in past tense. See, he said he has blessed me. If he has blessed me, then I have the money to pay the bill. If he has blessed me, then I have that need met. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you have blessed me. You have blessed me. Yes, I'm blessed. Now what I did, you are walking in the light as he is. And I said, well, I'm blessed. And then suddenly, you know, when, when that whole experience begins to slow down, begins to die down, because you feel it sometimes. You have bills to pay. <laughs> you hear that, I'm telling you, you hear that. Hey, after all your dancing and rejoicing, you've got bills to pay. Now, what do you do then? Don't come back. Don't come down to where you were before. Stay there in the light. Say, Lord, thank you hey, you have bills to pay yes i will pay them i will pay them i will not be late to pay those bills <laughs> and then you know you now go before the lord and say lord you know what i know you have blessed me not in doubt not in unbelief you see when you do these things it is your heart lord I know you have blessed me. Where have you provided the money for this particular bill? Can you open my eyes to find it? I'm telling you, that's how to go about it. No, Lord, <laughs> I know you have blessed me, but <laughs> if you can just give me money to pay this bill, that is unbelief. If he says he has blessed you, you don't start asking him to give you money. So, I mean, he, he said, I have, it's just like someone calls you and say, hey, I have credited your account with a million. And then I say, oh, thank you. Thank you for crediting my account with a million. Oh, thank you. So you're so good. You're so nice. But then uh, you know what? I just have a, a, a hundred thousand bill to pay. Now, please, if you can just send it to me. What are you talking about? I didn't say, I shall credit you. I said, I have credited your account. Now, because you believe that, what would you do? Oh, sorry. Which account did you send it to? See? So, oh, I, I used your first bank account. Or I used your intercity account. You know, like, oh, thank you. Even if you check and you don't see the alert yet or you don't see it reflecting in your balance yet, you believe the person that spoke because you know him. He will never tell a lie. And he said, all right, I'll, I'll wait. I said, hey, that money, I'll... hey, relax. I'll give you your money. Today, I'll give you your money. <laughs> Praise God. You've not seen it yet, but you heard the person tell you, I have credited your account. That is how to walk in the light as God is in the light. Now, it doesn't mean you cannot ask God questions. Of course, you should ask God questions, but your questions should not be in unbelief. You can inquire of the Lord. So now that's what happens. So when we walk in the light as he is in the light, what happens? He says here that we have fellowship. He is in the light. And we see him in the light. Then we come up to walk with him in the light. It says, when we come up, a fellowship begins. A fellowship takes place. And when that fellowship takes place, what happened? Something is secreted. And what is secreted? The blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When that fellowship is established, now what does the blood of Jesus Christ do? Everything that physically is wrong about you, as long as you come up to that fellowship, the blood of Jesus begins to cleanse it. He will cleanse your poverty. 
He will cleanse your sickness. He will cleanse everything that doesn't look like God because you are in fellowship. You came into that fellowship and you stayed in that fellowship. Praise God. I'll continue tomorrow because my time is up. Listen, stay in fellowship with God. Stay. And you will see a miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye.